Ethical Media presents companion material for the book Saul, David, and Solomon, Lessons in Faith, written by Sheila McDade. Part 7. God Rejected Saul as King. 1 Samuel 15. Samuel also said unto Saul, The Lord sent me to anoint thee to be king over his people, over Israel. Now therefore hearken thou unto the voice of the words of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I remember that which Amalek did to Israel, how he laid wait for him in the way when he came up from Egypt. Now go and smite Amalek. Who was Amalek? The history of Amalek goes back to the time of Moses, Exodus chapter 17 after the Israelites crossed the Red Sea, but before they reached Mount Sinai, Amalek, also known as the Amalekites, attacked the Israelites. Then came Amalek and fought with Israel in Rephidim. And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose us out men, and go fight. Fight with Amalek tomorrow, for I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. And it came to pass, when Moses held up his hand, that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands were heavy, so they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat thereon. And Aaron and Hur stayed up his hands, the one on the one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. And Joshua discomfited Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in a book, and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua, for I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. And Moses built an altar, and called the name of it Jehovah Nissi, the Lord my banner. For he said, Because the Lord hath sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. So now, years later, God has not forgotten Amalek, and he wants the first king of Israel to utterly destroy the Amalekites. And now back to the text in 1 Samuel, when Samuel tells King Saul God's will about Amalek. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I remember that which Amalek did unto Israel, how he laid wait for him in the way when he came up from Egypt. Now go and smite Amalek, and utterly destroy all that they have, and spare them not, but slay both man and woman, infant and suckling, ox and sheep, camel and ass. And Saul gathered the people together and numbered them in Tileam, two hundred thousand footmen and ten thousand men of Judah. And Saul smote the Amalekites from Havilah until thou comest to Shur, that is over against Egypt. And he took Agag the king of the Amalekites alive and utterly destroyed all the people with the edge of the sword. But Saul and the people spared Agag and the best of the sheep and of the oxen and of the fatlings and the lambs all that was good, and would not utterly destroy them, but everything that was vile and refuse, that they utterly destroyed. Then came the word of the Lord unto Samuel, saying, It repenteth me that I have set up Saul to be king, for he has turned back from following me, and hath not performed my commandments. And it grieved Samuel, and he cried unto the Lord all night. Samuel rose early to meet Saul in the morning. And Saul said unto him, Blessed be thou of the Lord, I have performed the commandment of the Lord. And Samuel said, What meaneth then the bleating of the sheep in mine ears, and the lowing of the oxen which I hear? And Saul said, They have brought them from the Amalekites, for the people spared the best of the sheep and the oxen to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God, and the rest we have utterly destroyed. Then Samuel said to Saul, Stay, and I will tell thee what the Lord said to me this night. And he said to him, Say on, When thou wast little in thy own sight, wast thou not made head of the tribes of Israel? And the Lord anointed thee king over Israel. And the Lord sent thee on a journey, and said, Go, and utterly destroy the sinners, the Amalekites, and fight against them until they be consumed. Wherefore then didst thou not obey the voice of the Lord, but didst fly upon the spoil, and didst evil in the sight of the Lord? And Saul said to Samuel, Yea, I have obeyed the voice of the Lord, 
and have gone the way which the Lord sent me, and have brought Agag the king of Amalek, and have utterly destroyed the Amalekites. But the people took of the spoil, sheep and oxen, the chief of the things which should have been utterly destroyed, to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God in Gilgal. Saul did not accept responsibility and tried to blame the people. And Samuel said, Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. In chapter 13, Samuel told Saul his kingdom would not continue forever because he had sinned in offering a sacrifice himself rather than waiting. Now, in chapter 15, not only will the kingdom no longer continue through his lineage, but he personally is rejected as king of Israel. And Saul said unto Samuel, I have sinned. For I have transgressed the commandment of the Lord and thy words, because I feared the people and obeyed their voice. Now therefore I pray thee, pardon my sin, and turn again with me, that I may worship the Lord. And Samuel said unto Saul, I will not return with thee, for thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, and the Lord hath rejected thee from being king over Israel. And as Samuel turned about to go away, he laid hold upon the skirt of his mantle and rent it. And Samuel said unto him, The Lord hath rent the kingdom of Israel from thee this day, and hath given it into a neighbor of thine that is better than thou. Then he said, I have sinned, yet honor me now, I pray thee, before the elders of my people and before Israel, and turn again with me that I may worship the Lord thy God. So Samuel turned again after Saul, and Saul worshipped the Lord. Saul convinced Samuel that he had repented and persuaded Samuel to offer a sacrifice. But King Saul did not kill the sheep and oxen or King Agag as a sign of true repentance. After Samuel offered the sacrifice, he said, Bring ye hither to me Agag the king of the Amalekites. And Agag came to him delicately. And Agag said, Surely the bitterness of death is past. And Samuel said, As thy sword hath made women childless, so shall thy mother be childless among women. And Samuel hewed Agag in pieces before the Lord in Gilgal. The elderly old prophet and priest Samuel chopped wicked king Agag in pieces as Saul stood and watched. Then Samuel went to Ramah, and Saul went up to his house to Gibeah of Saul, And Samuel came no more to see Saul until the day of his death. Nevertheless, Samuel mourned for Saul, and the Lord repented that he had made Saul king over Israel.